Morning. Morning, morning. Morning, everyone. How are we today? <clears throat> Let yourself be known in the chat if you're there. Welcome. Good morning, Royce Cooker. Morning, Lord. Morning, Dad. Morning, guys. Double day today for me. Um, doing this workout this morning, and then we're doing uh, a race this evening. Um, well, early this evening, around about half past five or so. So, uh, double day, but I thought I would uh, take you along for this workout. So, goodness knows whether or not you're watching this. If you are watching this um, on the bike and you plan to do the workout as well, um, not that you know what the workout is because it's a mystery. <laughs> but um, I'm going to jump in and take you through everything right now. So, we're going to go right from the beginning. Um, we're going to ride. I wonder if I can still do the ceramic speed on a TT bike. I should be able to. Okay, so I'm going to jump into the training section and I'm uh, going to go down to uh, down to the very bottom, which is the training back, training peaks custom workouts. And these are the workouts that I've synced directly from my training peaks um, calendar for today. Yeah, I'll ride the TT bike. Um, so we're going to click on that, and then this is the session that I have uh, created. Um, I think below in the description box there's something about uh, being a part of a mailing list, if you want to be part of a mailing list that I've just set up. Uh, right about 20 people have signed up already, and uh, basically it's just going to be... Um, something I could set up a bit like this where I will create a workout for us based on like what I think a lot of people can get a lot of value out of I'll send out an email to every single one of you that are part of that list <clears throat> if you can join that group ride in that group session there'll be information on the email on how to upload the um, the attached workout file on that email um, to well to Zwift so that you can do it during the group ride, we can all do it with the elastic band effect on or off, whatever people want. But yeah, that's the idea. So here we go. Um, this is the session today. This workout was focused on improving my ability to make repeated hard efforts well over threshold with minimal rest in between. Uh, FTP set 365, uh, depending on how we go in this workout, um, obviously you can adjust it um, higher or lower, I don't think it's going to go higher today. <laughs> um, and I am going to use erg mode. I am going to use erg mode. Uh, at least for the warm up, and then we'll see how we feel as we get into the session. So hit workout, and where should we go? Where should we go? Let's, yeah, let's actually go to Richmond. Let's go to Richmond. It's nice there. And we're going to do the UCI Worlds course. Yeah, let's do the cobble climbs. Just the cobble climbs. They'll do. Okay. And hit ride. So I've actually had uh, some of you, good morning everyone. Some of you, um, have messaged me recently about um, live streaming workouts and I, <coughs> it's always difficult with a workout because you have to concentrate and it's a lot different to a race but um, I will try and do this more often because I feel like it's like my own virtual cycling class <laughs> so I'm going to swap to TT bike so that we can do this ceramic speed mission I'm pretty sure I bought a new TT bike Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't. We're just doing it on the ship. Happy days. Okay, 
So let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so it's a pretty rough start. We start straight away at 220 watts. No messing around. Yeah, you can shoot me an email, Glenn, if you want. Nice. Nice money raised. Oh, I got an amateur mistake here, I've got no water. Oh, look at the speed of him. Yeah, so the percentage of FTP what we're looking at for the two minutes and then the one minute. And the two minutes is um, well, it says three eight five, but the actual range it's in it's in the middle of the range. So if I wasn't on erg mode. The range would be between 365 and 400. So it would be between 100 and 110% of FTP roughly for the two minutes. And then it would be, uh, as Michael says, pretty much all out for the one minute. And what we're working here is something that I've always struggled with, as you'll know, and that is really digging deep when I've already done a hard effort already. It will be hard to maintain those watts. But it's all about trying to spend as much time as you can at those watts. Because they are, they are your watts, so they don't lie. Never be afraid of a failed session. Never be afraid of it. Is it 40 kilometers on a time trial bike? Love that printing. Love that court. We should be able to get 40k in. Oh, 80k. Oh. Huh. I apologize, by the way, if I'm. Uh, 
if I'm still riding and talking and I'm over your FTP. I apologize. Racing later this evening, if you want to catch it. Yeah, I do use my gears in it of mud. Depends if I'm suffering. I usually just stay in the small ring. The 20 minute FTP test is still my go to. It always will be. Yeah, it is just a temporary help. That's what happens when you're failing. Uh, I think it's going to be two laps of the volcano coin at 5:30. Oh, here we go. More ramps. We've got our rest days, so we can have more more days. Yeah, that's the one cue. No Edmore today. Grab some water, but This one.
three second always hot Okay, warm up done. Some of you will probably experience a much bigger heart rate drift when doing those efforts. Um, for me personally, my heart is very slow to respond. So keep that in mind when we do this first set. And of course we're only doing four, but they are quite hard. <laughs> 12 minutes in total above FTP, but of course eight minutes of that is only just whether you like that, <laughs> same turn. <laughs> Morning, Chris. Morning, people that have just joined. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're fitter or healthier. Cheers, Brad. What it does mean though is that over time you'll see a trend. Generally speaking, the less or the more untrained you are, the quicker your heart rate will respond to any kind of load. Uh, that also goes for when you're fresh. But the fitter you get, obviously, the more efficient your body becomes, and your heart rate will tend to take a much much longer time to reach, you know, threshold heart rate, which doesn't really get talked about a lot nowadays, but you can still relate to it. Morning, Ross. Thank you for jumping in. Morning, Tim. That's fine, Dave. Everyone responds differently to training stimulus, and of course, everyone responds differently to um, the adaptations to training.
If you look back at my race from the other night, morning Ryan, morning Mike. Look back at my race from the other night when I attacked. My heart rate was still fairly low, and it's hence why I didn't have a lot of pain in my face when I initially went. And it wasn't until we got near the top of Box Hill, and I was really starting to like grimace, and the effort was just about getting to me and it takes you know that was taking a long time for me to get to that level a long time for my because that, that's it at the end of the day I mean it's it's almost like that raised heart rate that actually that that is the feedback your body's giving you to the effort that you're giving it so once that heart rate starts to climb and go out of control you start heading over threshold heart rate, that's when you start to feel like you're out of control of the situation. Same here then, super high heart rate when I was young. Alright guys, here we go, focus now for three minutes, let's get it done and see how we manage it. Good. That was like a. That felt just right. I think. 
we'll see how the next one goes, and then we'll be able to, we'll almost be able to tell if we can do the next two. Um, so, I saw a question about cadence. I don't really have an optimized cadence for this. It's more about the effort. I think cadence tends to get a little bit blown out of perspective. Um, why a lot of people tell you to watch it is basically just to get you to concentrate on something other than the pain. Um, because a lot of the time, the best cadence is your cadence. So, for me, I was actually dying at the end, but dying cadence-wise, and it's about just hanging on, really. You're trying to maintain good form, and cadence comes with that. Good form as in holding yourself, you know, strong, steady, Well, Ruben, good point. This is three minutes for me. So in three minutes I can recover quite a lot. So, take from that what you will. <laughs> I'd say a lot of people would probably need a one to two work rest ratio. Well also, this rest period is a proper rest period. Like we are like almost middle zone one now. You know, there's no pressing on us all really. Yeah, it depends how fit you are, Ruben. You gotta remember personalization is still the number one rule. Okay, time to get into the next one. This should take us fairly up the climb. So the hardest bit about these is actually the last minute, which is perfect. That's what we want.
Can anyone help Nick out there? All right, that was a bit harder. I think it was because the kicker really does have slight changes, even on erg mode, when you're going up and down climbs. You can really see the cadence drop. Um, but that was, that was obviously harder than the first one. But usually the second one, is hardest because for me my heart rate has time to come up in relation to the first one my heart rate comes up a lot quicker because I'm obviously more warmed up now the idea is you know if I wanted to perform these better per se I could have a longer warm up that's for me personally I don't know what it'd be like for you guys all depends on what you feel works best but that that for me, the second effort is usually the hardest because now my heart has had time to come up. Now it doesn't, it doesn't change the gradient per se, it, I don't know why, but when I go down minus gradients, it's slightly harder to keep the cadence up. You can definitely feel a very slight increase in resistance. And then when I go uphill, resistance just ever so slightly backs off. Even on Urgmo. It could be placebo. It could be. I'm just relaying what I'm feeling. All right, this bit is the easy bit. Well, not easy. Easier.
What did you ask, Nick? Sorry. Yeah, Len, it's still different for every athlete. Every scientific paper, <laughs> you've still got to place that. You can't, you can't just pigeonhole every single athlete with, they need to have a high heart rate to adapt, to immediately get into their best possible shape. <laughs> yes, I do suffer fast, yes. I really enjoy it. Something really motivational, I think. Well, let's see it, yeah. Sorry, Len, sorry. That's me trying to interpret what you're saying while I'm breathing hard, very heavily. Sorry. Um, yes, do it. Um, well, your max changes, doesn't it? So, your max is relative. Hence why I've said down below, I really don't know what my max is. <laughs> because it changes literally from day to day. I definitely see a higher heart rate running, but you've got to think about muscle economy and how, you know, how effective are your muscles at running when you've never run before, and hence why the high heart rate. <coughs> One small part, obviously, but, all right, we're going to crush this last one. We're going to crush it. The hardest bit is that last minute. Because that last minute is basically, I'll tell you at the end, but it's simulating, let's say, you know, a hard climb or a hard breakaway effort in the final couple of K, and then bang, you've got to go over the top of it. You shouldn't do these very often. <laughs> These are incredibly race specific. Incredibly race specific. If I was racing on the road now, I'd be doing these at the end of three hours rather than 34 minutes in. Last bit.
Oh, awesome job. Does it not, David? Does it not? Oh, that's good. That was good. So look at that, we've done 38 minutes. We've done a lot in that time scale. Now, I would like to explain very briefly that you attempt this workout at your own risk. <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness, um, <coughs> yeah, it was a good timing, wasn't it? Uh, good motivation to finish there. Um, no, I was going to say, like, I'm, uh, I had a rest day yesterday, so this fits in quite well. Um, Again, really short session. If you want to personalize it a bit more, think about what your strengths and weaknesses are. For me personally, my weakness is riding just above threshold for a short space of time and then jumping, you know, not maximum, but then going over that by quite a bit. So think about what you want to target and think about how you can tweak that session so you can do um, if you struggle with just maintaining being in the pack at like you know you're riding just below threshold then the yellow block that I've been doing take that drop the intensity a little bit and just drag it out so drag it out to maybe five minutes with a slightly lower intensity and then at the end do 30 seconds or 45 seconds of basically what I've done if you want to uh, if you want to mix it up Tom I'm actually doing the race you're doing bud <laughs> not that I knew you were doing it but I, I saw the race there and it, fit, it fits in with my day so um, I scrolled down and I saw your name so <laughs> We can, uh, we can do a little bit of a one, two, you go, I'll go first up uh, of the volcano and then you can like bridge across to it the second time. Oh no, did it break today or did it break, did it break this morning or did it break yesterday? What a time for it to go. stalking you Q. <laughs> no, so guys, that was a that was a good one. Um, again, like I said, if you want to adapt it to your own needs, maybe think about having a longer warm-up. You can definitely put this into an hour session. I think four of those repeats, that's quite good, you know, we're, we're talking about a lot of intensity and you know even four of those you know, it quits the 12 minutes of, you know, well over threshold. So, if you think about it, if you did an hour session and 12 minutes of that hour was at VO2 and above, then, you know, that's a lot of intensity in just, you know, a quarter of the session. So, just think about how, how that would fit in with you. Um, but, of course, you can easily make it into a 45 minute session like I'm doing right now. There's a lot of work, a lot of TSS, a lot of quality, and I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy the session or enjoy whatever you do to tweak it.
For me to drop back for a dip. Should we, should we turn around? <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Yeah, you could change it doing the threshold block of the sprint. I'd say if you lower the intensity, slightly extend the time that you spend at that intensity. So it's plain and simple, really. The harder the effort is, the shorter it should be. And uh, the easier the effort is, the longer it should be. So, <laughs> of course, a lot of you are here just to watch me suffer. And I don't mind that at all. <laughs> and of course, you're also here because you feel like you're getting fitter by watching it. Scott, I've got a brain to pick with you. I've got a bone to pick with you, not brain. I don't want to pick your brain. <laughs> um, I am the cake bandit, dude. I'm the cake bandit. I eat cake for fun. We're not having a cake off. But, we wait till I get back home. I'll show you pictures of how Kathy stopped cake in. Me and Anthony are the cake bandits. Well, there's three of us actually. You can be enrolled if you want. You've got some pretty good uh, cake eating skills. Alright, 20 seconds left. And that's going to wrap it up. If you think about it, watching my streams, even if it doesn't make you fit there physically, Hopefully, it gives you a little bit of an edge psychologically. Alright, that's it. 45 minutes. Favourite cake. Uh, if you class cheesecake or cake, a cheesecake, if not, then uh, carrot cake's nice. I can't stand cake with lemon in. I find it like too zingy. That is a thing, by the way. Yeah, I've seen all be started the YouTube channel. If you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. Cheesecake's dessert. I disagree. <laughs> when would you ever have a dessert at a cafe? Huh? 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 <laughs> no, it's got to be something chocolatey. It's got to be like a brownie or something. Although there's a pretty filthy rocky road at, uh, at uh, Humble Cafe or Humble Coffee Shop, whatever you want to call it, um, near, near home, so... Gin and tonic, oh, Charlie's favourite drink. Should definitely try that. I'll tell her. Thank you, Tim. He's just trying to bring, he's, he's, do, he's doing a good job, Chris. But then, I've always thought, you know, Chris should, um, because, you know, it's like, of where he's come from. You know, like GCM and things, but he's always been a very interesting guy, so kudos for him for picking up a camera. Um, yeah, that's why right. soon all the same period, I'm a strong on the prep. To be fair, we do, like, you know, not, not just on YouTube, because I think YouTube is very personal to, to the person. I think, I think, you know, um, it's very, like, it's, it is very personal. YouTube, whereas like Instagram can be as well, and so can Twitter, but YouTube is like you're letting somebody into your world, um, and, and it's not just about showing off like this is me riding the sun, or this is me like riding this bike. It's kind of like this is me brushing my teeth, this is me like going to the shops, like that. That's what like. That's what YouTube is. It's like a naked paradise of content. Oh, that, that was quite deep. Um, <laughs> Tim, Tim, I will end this video now and then you can, you know, rewatch it and do the workout and you'll thank me for it. <laughs> do you know what we should do? You know that five thing? Do you know the five, like, that running thing they were doing? Like 5K and, like, you tag people in it. I should like, I should tag you lot to do this workout now, so there you go, Tim, Scott, you can go do this right now. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. 
It's not worth it. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you at half five, yeah? Am I going to see you at half five? See you at half five? There it is. Good. None of you responded. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you there. Nice one. <laughs> Your new resting FTP. <laughs> Lovely. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. See you soon. I'll see you in a bit.